Hey guys, Coach Nate here. Wanted to give you a breathing protocol that you can use uh, either post-workout um, or right before bed. And so this is gonna do a number of things for us. Uh, first off, it's gonna jumpstart the adaptation process after your workout. Um, it's gonna transition you from that performance mental state into just our normal mindset. Um, if we're doing this pre-bed, right, it's gonna get us into that nice restful state, ready to sleep. Um, it's gonna reduce any effects of anxiety and stress, so that's both after the workout and before bed, just again, get you into that nice calm state. Um, how do we do this? First off, we need good posture, right? We wanna be able to get air into our lungs. Um, so don't be hunched over, hands on knees or anything like that. If you're doing it right after the workout, stand up nice and tall. Uh, we're gonna go nasal. So everything in and out through the nose, keep the mouth closed. Um, that alone is gonna do a lot of beneficial things for you. Um, it may feel a little panicky at first if you're not used to nasal breathing. So don't force this, this shouldn't be stressful at all for you, right? If you're starting to breathe nasal right after a workout and you just feel like you're drowning, can't get enough air in and out, go back to mouth breathing until you've calmed down a little bit, then switch back to the nasal. Um, there's a couple different cadences that we're gonna do here. The first one I would start with is just a one-to-one -one ratio. That could be three second inhale, three second exhale, four in, four out, five in, five out, and so on. Depends on the person and also depends on how stressed you are at that time. So what I usually do right after the workout, switch to nasal. Once I feel like I can maintain just my natural breathing nasally, then I'm gonna start kind of counting my inhales and exhales to see where I'm at. I'm gonna match the inhale to the exhale, and then I'm gonna start slowing it down as I start to bring myself down a little bit. So I may start with just two in, two out, then three in, three out, and so on, until hopefully I get to something like a five, six second range. If you can do seven in and out, you're pretty much fully recovered at that point, but it can take several minutes to get to that. So that one-to-one -one ratio is what I would start with. After you get a little more experience with this, then you can try this one-to-one -one cadence. What that is, going back to another example, three seconds in, six second hold, three second exhale, okay? And again, that could be four, eight, four, five, 10, five, and so on. You can build that up as you start to recover. So I would save that one after you get a little bit of practice for this. Um, do that for about three to five minutes, um, whether that's right after your workout or right before bed. Gets you in that nice restful state, uh, builds adaptation. Um, it's not gonna be easy at first, but again, don't make it stressful. Don't force cadences that you can't continually hold. Um, you shouldn't feel like you're gasping for air after you get done with this. You should feel nice and calm throughout that process. Okay, give that a shot, guys. I want you to try and make that part of your post-workout routine uh, going forward here. Uh, also try it out before bed. You'll get really, really good sleep. Just kind of conks you right out. So try it out.